video games are all about messing with your emotions, whether you want it or not. But some games take it to the next level by messing with you, not only through the gameplay itself, but also through the game interface. The most famous example of this is Fish and Mail in Metal Gear Solid 2, when you get confronted with the game over screen. But instead of mission failed, it says Fish and Mail, making you soil your britches for a moment before you realize it's all part of some next level skullduggery. We've collected 10 other instances in awesome games where you thought you were out of the game, but it was just a massive yank of your chain. Here's 10 times in games your fishing was mailed. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. Use the link in the description and save 70% off a 3-year plan. Switch to NordVPN to protect yourself today. Bayonetta is the fan service feast we all love. It's guns, beasts and babes. What's not to love? According to its maker, the central theme to the protagonist's fighting style is sexiness. So yeah, come on. In this game, the final boss summons a giant statue in space. However, Bayonetta manages to defeat him anyway, but is totally busted. Now, the statue is plummeting to Earth. It's so large, it's sure to destroy the planet. This is it. Bayonetta is incapacitated and slowly Doom descends down to Earth. The credits start to roll. It's all over. This game has a sad ending. But then... White Witch Yan literally stomps the already rolling credits. The two witches destroy the statue together and save the planet because those boots are made for shooting and that's what they're gonna do. Prince of Persia The Shadow and The Flame picks up where the first game left off. Every dude is fighting to marry a princess that doesn't really have an opinion of her own. It's the titular prince's quest to collect the titular flame that accompanies the titular shadow. To get to it, he has to avoid many traps and eagle-headed goons. But to finally really get his hands on the flame, the player has to let the character die like he normally would and then plainly ignore the continued message. A shadowy figure will omit from the hero's corpse to just set himself on fire and steal the flame that way. The shadow re-enters the prince's body and the birdmen suddenly all fall to their knees to worship this new holder of the flame. Suck it, bird brains. The oldest game on this list is Troubleshooters from 1991 on the Mega Drive, also known as Battle Mania in Japan. Lady Badass Madison is on a mission to free a prince that has been kidnapped. With her sidekick crystal, she flies through the levels, connected by the backs like some sort of Siamese twin. Throughout the game, the dialogues are quite humorous and the game seems totally self-aware. So when the final boss is defeated, Madison calls for the end credits herself. But then... Surprise, motherfucker! The final, final battle really begins, which is way more intense than the first one. The real screen credit is also very kawaii. One of the games that would totally be on the Mount Rushmore of iconic games is Grim Fandango. Praised for its very well put together art style and direction, this game knows what to do to mess with your feelings. <laughs> Nearing the end of the story, protagonist Manny finds himself held at gunpoint by villain Hector. As the villain discusses the ins and outs of his scheme, as dumb villains always do, Hector suddenly shoots Manny. As villains always should do in this situation. He shoots Manny with a Sproutella dart that makes a flower grow from his skeletal body. This is a terrible death sentence in the world of Grim Fandango. As Manny lies on the ground, seemingly dead, the player is not able to control him anymore, except for the inventory controls, which allows you to grab the antidote and survive. We're not sure if surviving is a thing a skeleton can do, but you get the gist.
This is a special entry on this list. Giant's Citizen Kabuto is a humorous third-person shooter full of goofy-looking characters. We'd call it a kind of classic even. And this entry is also a bit eccentric as it's the opposite of a fish and mail. At the end of the game, everything gets out of hand and you have to fight Kabuto, the giant from the title. To do this, you change into a giant yourself. Pretty cool. And then you kill the other giant with one gigantuan punch. Your mission is a success and the credits start to roll. Until they unroll and the giant comes back to life and kills your own giant. Leaving you to defeat him with your tiny regular character. This is the opposite of a fish and mail, but it's also not a real mission fail. What is it? Let us know in the comments. Inside is a sick, sick game that leads you through all kinds of fears of being hunted and trapped. One of the creepiest occurs deep within the flooded bowels of a kind of deep underground base. A long-haired mermaid waits in the water there, ready to pull you down to the depths. The horror of some undead girl snatching at your ankles while you try to climb out of the water is immense. But one time, it's different. Assuming you have died a couple of times this way before, you will anticipate the screen to go back as soon as she grabs you. But she takes you down and further down to the silent depths. You will think you're experiencing some new cruel kind of in-game death, but then you realize this is something else as she connects you to some sort of umbilical. When you touch down on the bottom, you've gained the ability to breathe underwater. You still have 99 problems, but drowning ain't one. Snowman, you really are alive. The most heartwarming on this list from Kingdom Hearts 3. This game has some pretty peaceful game over screens. Just the protagonist Sora floating and some helpful advice on screen, so it doesn't happen again, hopefully. During the final battle, the same kind of death occurs and the same screen shows, with your character peacefully floating. But this time, nothing happens until you press a button and a single heartbeat can be heard. Do it again and you get another one. Then you keep doing it and you will come back to life to find Goofy and Donald Duck at your side. Turns out you've been brought back by the power of friendship and that's worth a place on this list. This is going to be the most satisfying one on the list. The Hitman series is all about killing in cold blood, and that's exactly what happens in this version of a fish and mail moment. The main character, Hitman 47, seemingly gets taken out by a femme fatale, and then we see his funeral, apparently lovingly organized by his biggest enemies. They discuss the way he came to his end, and they seem to think he stumbled while climbing a wall, slipped, broke his back and died. During the rolling of the credits, however, the player can wiggle the controls to bring Agent 47 back from the dead and kill everyone that came to the funeral. Make sure you don't forget to take out the guy in the wheelchair for an extra satisfying fish and mailed. Now, for a bit of indie fish and mail, I Wanna Be The Guy is one of those games that's optimized to give the player a frustratingly good time, making use of all kinds of characters we already know and love. You travel through crazy levels on your way to be the guy, the big boss. And to be the guy, you gotta beat the guy and all the other guys too. This game uses an extra nasty way to mess with your feelings. In the room dedicated to Guy, Ryu Hayabusa, the game freezes for a moment and a Windows screen prompts appear. Of course, it's not real, but when you don't get out of the way, the window comes crashing down on your character, squishing him like a grape. That's nasty on multiple levels, but nobody said it's easy to become the guy. That's it for our top nine when you mailed a fission in games. When have you ever thought you got to the end of something, but you just had to go that little extra step further? Don't forget to like, subscribe to Good Values, and be sure to hit below the belt. At number one, a truly gorgeous fish and mailed. 
In Batman Return to Arkham Asylum, the Dark Knight walks down a hallway. But suddenly, the screen freezes and glitches. Your PC has crashed and the game goes back to the opening screen you've already seen before when you started the game. But instead of the bat signal, it's now the logo of the Scarecrow, making you suspect it's one of his hallucinations. As the cinematic opening continues, we see the Batmobile, like before, but when we see inside, it's the Joker driving. Batman is being wheeled into Arkham Asylum by the Joker and Scarecrow to be executed. This leads to yet another fission that turns out not to be mailed, because Batman rises from the friggin' grave after that to fight another day. A double fission mailed and a hallucinating zombie Batman. That's what makes you number one on our list. Have you ever thought you failed at a task, but it turned out to be part of the journey? Share your experience in the comments. And of course, let us know if you totally agreed with this list. And if you have an idea for a list you'd like to see, let us know as well. We love to dig into this stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell. See you next upload.